Hey, what's up everybody? It's Fabio here from Noise. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you another preview from the Chaos Noise London producer pack, where I take you through my track Vanguard with my production partner, Andreas. The course is from start to finish. So right from the first production, the kick and the drums and the bass and the synths, all the way through to arrangement, automation, mixing, and mastering. With the course, I also include the project files, WAV stems, MIDI files, and much more. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you a preview from the arrangement and automation chapter. I hope you enjoy it. So then we go to the first little break, and we reveal the chords. Right, this is quite exciting. Still soft, still filtered, right? They build towards the end, but we're not giving away too much. Just that listener, hey, there's something bigger coming again. Take the kick out, so we lose some of that low end energy. Losing the low end energy means that when the kick comes back in, it's gonna feel big, it's gonna feel good. And another thing to listen out for is that high up, it builds, but then it comes back down, and a farfisa string comes in with gain automation. So there's a lot of automation of pushing and pulling and pushing and pulling. It's helping introduce things, but it's also helping the transition between sections. So you hear that vocal, you would have never, you know, like I, I hear, I listen to tracks all the time and it's only when I pick them apart that I notice these little things. That vocal building, it creates this tension in the background that doesn't take away from the chords, sounds really awesome, and then it, it dips back down again. So you have it for a moment, and then what happens is, in this section, a lot is building, but there's nothing building with low frequencies. So when you pull it back, and you take away the energy again, you refilter things, you take out the high frequencies, because they're being replaced with dominant sounds, the bass, the ride, the kick, you don't care so much that you've lost energy in one section because it's being made up for in another. So it's about keeping that balance and keeping that interest throughout the track. Now also take out the cricket jam here. It's kind of served its purpose up until this point. It's brought a lot of dirt, a lot of rhythm, but now we're trying to get the listener to re-engage and focus on different aspects of the music. So yeah, we've got eight bars, a nice little break there, take the kick out again, let everybody know that the new section is coming. After eight bars, it's probably a bit soon, but it just worked in this track. We've got this nice combed horn, that's a new sound, that's letting, it's similar to the Vangelic horn, right? So it's kind of letting this know, oh, this is gonna come in. And we introduce two new major parts, the SO Berlin, which is this really cool melody, and the bongo loop. So like, why, why does this work? Why does it feel natural? Well, we're introducing one rhythmic part and one melodic part at the same time to up the ante. And that is re-engaging the listener without, you know, we're not introducing two really dominant parts that all of a sudden are taking away from the chords and the bass and the kick but they're also not too subtle, so that it's kind of boring. And it's about trying to find that middle ground. If you think about, should I add a melodic part? Should I add a rhythmic part? Should I add both? If I'm adding both, is it gonna be overwhelming or underwhelming? Uh, and it's a difficult decision to make, but uh, it's about trial and error. I'm pretty sure this wasn't the first structure that I made, you know, it was just kind of, it happened with a bit of trial and error. And often, 
I'll make the whole structure and I'll delete it and I'll start again until I can find that flow. Starting to build intensity here, we've got the reverb lock in building throughout this section, probably because I was like, it just sounds a bit dry here. We need to increase the intensity. The high up has come back in. This is going to build later, so we'll come back to that. And everything else is continuing as normal automation wise from what I can see. Oh, we also have this Farfisa string coming in, which is nice. And this is kind of coming in, not at the eight bar mark, but at the four bar mark. So it's the reason that's happening is because it's there to help sort of blend two sections together without it. Here's one section, here's another section. It's kind of, here's the kind of bridge in the middle that's going to help them glue. And we have that end lick coming in, which you'll remember from one of the earlier videos with the synths. And at the end of this eight bars, the final thing, I just cut all the drums out, gave it a nice rhythmic break so we can focus on what's coming up next and let the listener know. So we transition here from the diva chords to the piano chords and they're a completely different set of chords. They change the emotion, but they work. Now the piano chords are not the full piano chords. I did a similar thing to these that I did with the uh, the diva chords, um, as in I kind of don't give everything away. I just give away what I think feels good. Now the Vangelic horn is accompanying the piano. The piano is sitting us a little bit further up front. Not entirely, it's just kind of making its way there. But the Vangelic horn is creating this swell behind everything with that obnoxious reverb and building the intensity. It's just kind of slowing things down too because it's got the slow attack and slow release. It's not really adding rhythm, if anything, it's taking away. Oh, and I should add, of course, that I'm also adding this loop here. Which I named Themba Loop. Um, because I think at the time I was listening to a lot of Themba and that was cool. So. So here I give away a bit more of the piano, the kick comes onto the low cut channel. That's why I love having a low cut channel because I can just grab the kicks and pull them down really quickly. I don't have to go in and automate. It makes life a lot easier. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get your hands on the Chaos Noise London producer pack, there is a link in the description below. So make sure you go down there and click it. Like I said before, it's three and a half hours of tutorial. So you will ultimately know how to make a great melodic techno banger. And I'll be sharing some very, very secret techniques in that course. I hope to see you all very soon. It's a pleasure as always and a big love from noise. Peace.